if the world were left without the guidance of an imam, then it would go into chaos. So in some way that we can't really understand, the twelfth imam is still constantly exercising that function of guidance in the earth today. And the model here which is given is a useful one. We can see the sun, and then the sun disappears behind the clouds and is hidden from our sight. And yet we know that the sun is still present behind the clouds, even though we can't see the sun. And we know that the sun is still shedding the rays upon the earth, bringing warmth and bringing light, and thus enabling life to continue upon the earth. Without the presence of the sun, all life on earth would end. Without the presence of the divinely appointed Imam, human beings would necessarily go into chaos and confusion. The twelfth Imam is, at this stage, the hidden Imam, but also the Imam of the present age. He serves this function today. At some future date, we know not when, he will re-emerge from his occultation, from his hidden existence, and then he will be known once again by people upon the earth. Obviously, this is something for which the Shia Muslims will pray that God may hasten the return of Imam al-Mahdi and bring that blessed day when he will be there in our midst and people can turn to him and receive his guidance in a direct way during this period that we call the end of time leading up to the end of the world.